Well, the reason I went through the crowd is <laughs> honestly because I don't want to see anybody backstage. Um, I've sat at home for four months pissed off, um, which is also why you saw me, you know, powerbomb somebody. I don't even know if it lasted a minute. Um, I, I was so. throwing those throwing those power bombs uh, a little stiffer than usual. Like I said, I have four months of anger built up, four months of not being able to do what I love, four months of not being able to get out that physicality. Um, you know, I'm I'm a bit of a, you know, <laughs> psychotic man. I have a lot going on up here, um, and I release it physically. I can only do so much in the gym. That only gives me so much relief. Um, what really does it is hurting people in a wrestling ring. That's what I enjoy. <laughs> so I've been very angry for four months. So this is how I'm going to go about things. I'm going to show up to the building as late as humanly possible because I have no interest in seeing or speaking to anyone. So I'm going to show up. I'm going to lace my boots up. I'm going to walk out there. I am going to destroy whoever they put in that ring with me. Uh, I hope they pay them extra. And I'm going to leave out through the crowd. I'm going to get in my black SUV. And I'm going to go back to the hotel. And I am going to continue to do that until some wrongs have been uh, corrected and turned right. And until I get the things I want to get. Well, I think that leads me to my next question here. Some internet sleuths might have noticed a little something on your wrist there. And uh, <laughs> speaking of stiff power bombs, uh, it seems like you might have some unfinished business with a certain somebody. Yeah, 10 wasn't enough. I don't know if there is a number that exists that will satisfy me um, for the amount of power bombs that MJF is due. And deserves and I understand in the past four months he has somehow convinced everybody in the world to cheer for him and feel sad for him and feel sorry for him it, it just amazes me how somebody can do horrible evil things for years and then they come out and they say sorry and spew out some fake tears. And now all of a sudden everybody forgets about all the bad they've ever done and they want to embrace them. Well, I'm a little more intelligent. Um, I don't, I see right through his BS and uh, I am not one of the people that have sat at home cheering on MJF for the past four months. Any advice to Adam Cole right now? <laughs> Pull the trigger before he does. You, you keep bringing up the four months that you've been away, and it seems like a lot of bitterness has grown in that time. What What's kept you away? That's a great question. Not really sure. Um, yeah, that wasn't a vacation for me. That wasn't time to rest and recover and enjoy life. Like, all I know is working my ass off ever since my junior year of high school for 13 years, all I've known is working all day, every day. Um, so I don't really like time off. I don't, I'm not comfortable sitting at home. I'm not comfortable relaxing. That's not my cup of tea. Um, I like chaos. I like being busy. Um, that's my normal. That's my comfort zone. Um, so sitting at home didn't do anything good for me. I didn't go anywhere fun. I didn't travel. I didn't, I just sat at home pissed off and I went to the gym for as many hours a day as I could to release that anger. Yeah. You look jacked last Wednesday, man. I see you're growing the hair back out too. You know, it's time to go back to day one Wardlow. I agree. Um, the, the hair's growing back. Um, I somehow in that four months got bigger and stronger, which 
doesn't help anybody on the roster. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> yeah, because not only am I did I gain 20, 30 pounds of muscle, um, but I'm also really pissed off. So it's a bad combination.